there is so much fear mongering and so many inaccurate, re so much inaccurate reporting and, and uh, all kinds of stuff that um, these are just snor short snippets of the Alex Jones show from uh, from New Year's Eve, December the 31st. This is news to what could have been an absolute catastrophe. And it all came from these people. And it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, people really went off the deep end. A lot of people got scared. Some people got sick. A lot of people headed literally for the hills just from listening to these guys. This is not a joke. I'm not kidding you. It really happened just exactly as I've described. So stay tuned. You're going to hear that people who practice this kind of broadcasting and claim to be an American patriot do nothing but discredit all of us eventually. It's wrong. It is absolutely wrong. And it's wrong to allow that to happen. Especially when the host takes it and runs with it. Without any checking, without any calling, without any research, without anything. This is one of the people who pulls faxes off the fax machine and reads them over the air. And all kinds of things like that to participate in this kind of fear-mongering. This could have resulted in the shutdown of the whole country, the declaration of martial law, mass hysteria and panic by millions of people. And this is the guy, along with a few others, but this is the main guy who was whipping it all up. Listen carefully. Cash machines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is a former KGB head, and this information is vital. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now. The war in Chechnya is raging in Grozny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying. Uh, 20 to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city. Russian hinds are being shot down. Tanks are being blown to bits. Uh, massive, uh, grod, unguided rocket attacks are being launched on the city indiscriminately right now. Air and artillery bombardments as well. Uh, it's absolutely out of control. It is pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll give you the news first on Y2K. The newest developments, the Pennsylvania nuclear plant has been shut down. Um, one of the main uh, systems transferring the power from it uh, failed, but they say it's not a Y2K problem. And the things I'm experiencing here in Austin, Texas, the shelves are empty of water and some gas stations are running out of fuel. Uh, here in Central Texas uh, and in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the shortwave is basically down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, went off right as I went on the air. The big news on Y2K. Then we'll start going to your calls. All right, let's go ahead and get to this article. Associated Press, uh, this came out at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, December 31st, 1999. Pennsylvania, nuclear plant shut down. One of the two nuclear reactors at Pico Energy Co.'s Limerick Generating Station has shut down uh, this morning after a piece of equipment failed. Company spokesman Neil McDermott said the problem was not Y2K related. It was declared an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. they got to have a serious emergency to shut down a plant, ladies and gentlemen. You power one down, you're not going to power it up for at least days. Um, it was declared an unusual event. At 2.55 a.m., shutdown occurred when an insulator on the main generator transformer from Limerick 2 failed. We had reports yesterday of this. Off the record, I would not report it, but I had it from a good source that this plant was having problem along with four other plants. I may just go ahead and report it here. Um, I mean, boy, do we get good information here. This has been going on for days. Uh, from our information, it is not this, this transformer that they're talking about. They wouldn't just shut a plant down over that. Something serious may be going on there. So that the central government, known as the federal government, the occupational government uh, in Washington, D.C., has set up a huge $50 million command bunker hooked into all the FEMA boxes that can take over all the shortwave uh, broadcast and commercial AM and FM stations as well as television broadcast stations. And we hope they do not 
activate that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, police and military are on high alert, running around looking for supposed boogeymen and terrorists under every rock. Uh, military uh, are highly visible now. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are trains of military equipment moving into Austin. Uh, two nights ago, on Wednesday night, the Fox News reported that the airport will be used as a massive holding facility for troublemakers or rioters here in Austin that has no history of riots. They need to get that country locked down so they can stage the election for Vladimir Putin. I mean, this guy is a demon. Have you seen this guy? It's just how he's raging with power? I can't even keep track of all the developing news as it's coming in. I'm not going to get into the, I'm not even going to say it's, it's six to seven reactors across the country. Um, I'm not even going it, it, to, right. it, it's bad, and I, I got this news about the Pennsylvania plant early yesterday, got it again off air. Confirmed it with someone that is 99% accurate, about like I am, trying to report the truth. And now I've got the Associated Press saying, well, they shut the whole plant down, but uh, they call it um, they call it an, an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. Well, it's got to be pretty bad for them to power a plant down. As the developments um, move forward with this Y2K and this gear up for uh, clamping down in America and Russia and around the world, by, by globalist forces, will be bringing you the news as long as we're here on the air. Now pretty much dictator and controller uh, of... Oh, this is extremely serious. Two weeks ago, Topol M, 6,200-mile super range, multiple warhead, newest design U.S. clone technology missiles were deployed across Russia. They're mobile. Uh, these are first-strike type systems. They're also designed to uh, uh, survive several strikes. There's something else I want to tell you, Alex. Well, hold on just a second. Okay. I mean, this is extremely serious. Again, I was getting this information, what you just said two days ago, and I, and I got it even more. I ignored it then, then I got it yesterday, uh, and now it's in the Associated Press that in Pennsylvania, uh, where you're calling from, in the city you're calling from, one of two nuclear reactors at Pico's Energy Co. Limerick Generating Station was shut down uh, this morning after a piece of equipment failed. And they're saying it's non-Y2K related. This is just unbelievable. I know they're threatening to nuke us every single week. I've read the Associated Press, Reuters, Interfax News Agency, London Times articles here. I mean, I read Yeltsin and Jiang Zemin's quotes, the dictator of China, and they're, they're, they're saying, well, we'll nuke you. I mean, it's, they spell it out. We will hit you with nuclear weapons. We reserve the right to hit you. Three weeks ago, their uh, head of other missile forces uh, said, we reserve the right to nuke you first. Uh, their currency is plunging. The Egyptian pound is plunging against the dollar, uh, the Japanese yen, the Deutsch uh, mark, and the um, just all of it. It's it's, and the same thing is starting to develop here in America. Uh, I have, many of the gas stations here in Austin have the little uh, gloves over the pumps, saying they're out of fuel. You n never see this in Austin, Texas. Right here in South Austin, I've seen several stations. Uh, we don't know. This is just a Y2K that was here. Um, just bizarre behavior. Americans standing up as Russia threatens to attack us with nuclear weapons, as nuclear power plants, at least one, are being shut down, um, as the military runs around with the police and the FBI saying terrorism is imminent, absolutely out of control. Uh, just maintain your readiness, be calm, defend your family, defend your country. But uh, They have activated a powerful uh, Cold War uh, radar system in the North Pole region. Uh, that is something that is grounding out shortwave. The entire 9400 band all throughout the uh, 9.4000 up to 9. Point, uh, yeah. 9. I mean, they are. The military traffic is everywhere right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, scrambled. We've got superpower uh, radar systems, nuclear systems up. And perhaps our military is refusing. Fresno, where our servers are located is in the middle of a blackout, ladies and gentlemen. We're off the Internet. Uh, this is just absolutely out of control. That's why the commercial stations are so important. Paul, more information coming at you on the other side as Y2K develops.